Well, I think one of the things that surprised me was I was in a very big city with lots of industrial um, buildings and then in the same neighborhood we drive through a, an area where there were tiny little shops and um, people running between open air shops with um, chickens and, um, and with uh, cows and more rural type things but right in the middle of the big city. So we drive through an area like that and then there'd be a, a, suddenly a skyscraper and that all together um, next to each other seems surprising. After the interview you just watched, there are probably many things you should expect when you first move to India. Some of the things you should expect are the busy roads. The traffic can get very congested. The driving is intense in India and it is a big change from the United States. There are also skyscrapers everywhere depending on the area you go to. Some would be surprised by the size of buildings depending on where you live in the United States. Etiquette with meeting someone in India is very important. One of the most important is to make sure that you greet the eldest or oldest person first. Also, when you are saying goodbye, say goodbye to everyone individually. Only men to men and women to women shake hands. Men and women usually don't shake hands because of religious beliefs. Giving gifts is a very important tradition in India. Cash gifts are given to friends and families at birth, death, and marriage ceremonies. Also, gifts are valued more with the sincerity of the giving of the gift instead of the value of the gift. Giving gifts when being invited to a home is not necessary, but it is not discouraged. Flowers are often given as gifts. Frangipani and white flowers are for funerals. Yellow, green, and red are lucky colors in India, and gifts are often made in these colors. If a man is giving a gift, he should say it comes from him and a female relative. Gifts are not to be opened when they are received. Some important things to remember are that you shouldn't give Hindus anything made out of leather, and you should not give Muslims anything made out of pork skin or alcohol products because of their religious beliefs. So the official time at work is going to be 9 or 9.30 and then they spend time till 7 in the evening but they <laughs> tend to stay late because uh, when compared to United States and other countries, people in India love to work uh, with little leisure so they will take little more breaks so if it is a lunch break for 30 minutes or uh, I've, uh, as I'm working here like since last two months we, we really do a very quick lunch or grab something at a desk and have it so we will finish the things by people here will finish the things by 6 or 5 in the evening but whereas people there they, they, they take little long breaks maybe like an hour time for lunch they chit chat for some time and then they'll be going, to, going back to the work When you go to India, there are a few things to keep in mind when picking clothes to wear. It is recommended to wear light clothes because the weather is hot and humid in India. It is good to keep in mind that dust will often get onto your clothes from the road, so it would be a good idea to bring an extra change of clothes. Well, it really depends on where you're going with the climate, but I recommend layers. It seemed like it was cool in the morning and then would get hotter in the middle of the day and dress conservatively because um, the culture in some parts of India for some religious purposes is, is much more modest than it is for us. So we always dress it conservatively. The North, people from North Indians, they eat uh, wheat, uh, which is a roti, dal, and all that, but whereas uh, people from south they prefer more like a rice and then dal, so these are the mostly preferred dishes in India. Some foods are common all around India. Curry is a dish eaten all over India. Chutneys are often put into dishes. A chutney is a paste that contains spices, vegetables, and fruits. It is often put into dishes for flavor. Chutneys come in many varieties, such as a red chili chutney to a chutney containing mango. 
Chicken is popular in India, but it is also good to keep in mind that many Indians are vegetarian, Hindus don't eat beef, and Muslims don't eat pork or drink alcohol. Food in India is also more spicy compared to American food. In North India, people eat their curry with baked flatbreads. Their sauces are usually richer and contain nuts and fruits. Mutton is also more common in North India, and it is usually made with goat instead of sheep. Chai tea is more popular in North India. North Indians also make their barfi with a lighter color and it tends to be sweeter. Barfi is a small brick-like dessert made out of reduced milk. It is eaten on special occasions. In South India, curries are eaten with rice and fried breads. Their sauces are spicier and they often contain tamarind and coconut. A thin lentil and black pepper soup called rasam is very popular in India. Tamarind rice is popular in cooking and lemon rice is a South Indian specialty. People in South India also make a sweet milky coffee called kaipi, which is also very popular in India. Mm, it would be unity in diversity, I say, because there are different cultures in India and uh, their ethnical ways would be different, their languages would be different, their traditions, customs, everything would be different. So it's, it's always fun and fun to see uh, people of various cultures living together and then they, they live in harmony. 